so glad to see my friends today and everybody that's new here welcome we're about to be friends we're about to go on a journey today i wanted to chat i wanted to talk a little bit about our self-love our confidence building our confidence because i believe truly that this year is the year we transform you transform my friend but we're gonna get rid of this cup of tea because i just totally realized that we can't talk unless you have a cup of tea as well so we're gonna have a little tea party. First off, I just need like a little bit of excitement in the comment section about my new Gong Fu set. Now, look at this. This is beautiful. Blue to me is a godly color. I don't know why, it just feels heavenly to me, especially like a royal blue. It's just with the brown, mm, you know, get a little bit of gold in there. Look at the gold ring, Ooh, you understand? I like nice things, you know me. What kind of tea would you like? Lemongrass tea, which is like an aroma bath. And then we have a Lapsang Suhan black tea, one of my favorites and I think we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go with the Lapsang Suhan black tea. It's very smoky, it has a smell like a campfire, but this one brings a level of stillness to me that I feel like that's the, that's the, that's the energy we need. let that steep for about a couple minutes but while we do how are you like truly how is your heart you know 2020 was crazy 2021 is probably going to be pretty crazy as well but i believe there's an opportunity this year within us it's not even outside it's within us the opportunity is to connect with self build our confidence and prepare for the next season prepare for the opportunities that are about to come I know it may seem like a place of uncertainty and we're gonna get into that because I have the remedy to why uncertainty is a good thing in your life. And if you feel lost, it's okay. This is ready, let's get some tea. This one is for you, my friend. Yes. Mm. Take a smell. I'm gonna put that right there for you. Take a sip. Mm. Let me know what you think. This moment together, me and you right now has so much purpose with us, right? Like you and me, we're friends now. Our presence has purpose. I realize that, that our presence has purpose by having a cup of tea at a point in my life. If y'all wanna hear about my spiritual journey transformation or whatever, I don't even like to call it that, but if y'all wanna hear more about that transformation story, please leave a comment right now and I'll make it a priority to put that in a video coming up soon. But right now, recognizing that our presence has purpose is the affirmation for the moment and for this year is a big theme because there is a lot of uncertainty out there. Right? The world is crazy, let's be honest. How crazy was 2020? How crazy is 2021? How crazy is life right now? But there's an opportunity on the inside, right? There is an opportunity on the inside to strengthen that connection with thyself and to build our confidence. Every single one of us wants to be more confident. That's why we're hanging out right now. That's why we're chatting. I want to be more confident. You want to be more confident. We all want to develop a stronger relationship with ourselves. Because one thing I've learned is the deeper the connection we have with ourselves, the deeper the connection we have with others. You understand? I've learned more about other people through discovery of self. I, growing up, the quietest, most reserved, shyest kid ever. I'm still quiet, I'm still reserved, I'm still shy, but confident now. I have a lot of self-love. But when I was younger, man, I had so much social anxiety. Like I would think about going into a room full of people before I went in there, like an hour before, and would think about, 
and stress about how I had to shake everybody's hand. Or if I was at a party, I would be so stressed out and have anxiety about having to say bye to everybody that I, I would just disappear. It became like my trademark thing to the point I still do that because if I'm at an event, I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to say that. It's not that I don't say bye to everybody now because I'm scared. It's more like I want to get back home, get to my tea, get to my vibes. I already had a good time with everybody. But growing up, I would disappear because of social anxiety, not being familiar with my own energy. And this year we are balancing our energies, balancing the way we feel, because that is all a part of our journey of self-love and confidence. You understand? They are one in one. They are together. And this year there is an opportunity on the inside, even though outside is very uncertain. I think uncertainty, it has the spirit of a child, right? It's full of questions. It's full of curiosity. And because of that, it's full of opportunity. You understand? When we are on our journey, that's what it is. It's a journey and there's opportunity at every single moment. We just have to be open and receptive to the moment. Far too often, we put so much emphasis on confidence being in the future and self-love being in the future and our purpose in the future when everything is in this moment. We may be feeling lost, but my friend, you are never lost. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. You understand? You are never lost. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Say that with me. That's a mantra. We are never lost. We are exactly we were where we are supposed to be. I love that. But the reason why I love that is because I recognize throughout my life that, oh, we are living documentaries. Like we are living in our own books of life. You understand? And when we feel lost, we're just in between the chapters. When you feel lost in your journey, when you feel uncertain, it means you're about to discover something. So we can actually get excited about the discovery. We can get excited about the feeling of being lost because we can tell ourselves, oh, I'm not lost. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. I may not know where I am at this moment in life because everything is uncertain, but that means I'm about to find something lost and found. We all had a lost and found bin at our school, right? Um, last week, I've been, I was very lost in my creative process and I, I was this close to stressing out, right? I just wasn't sure where I was supposed to go, but I affirmed to myself, I'm not lost. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And the answer came to me. My friend, reaffirming how we conversate with ourselves, conversate with ourselves is very important with our self-love journey. Now, we need to have a positive mind, but at times we're going to have a real conversation with ourselves as well. One of the pivotal moments when I decided to really nurture myself because that's what self-love is. It's a journey of nourishment, understanding, understanding our own love language, right? We all have our own love language and it's not gonna look the same as everybody else. But with my pivotal journey, there was a moment where I looked at myself and y'all, I just, I wasn't happy. I'll be completely honest. I was actually disgusted with myself. I was disgusted with who I was because I wasn't living my authentic self. I wasn't doing things that were in alignment with my life. This was about seven years ago, I think. And I had a, had a real conversation with myself and say, I want to change. I want to grow. So on this journey of self-love, yes, we're having a positive talk with ourselves, affirmations, being kind to ourselves, but we need to be able to sit ourselves down and have those real conversations, just like you would with your brother, with your sister, just like you would if you were a parent or if you are a parent with your child or with your best friend. Self-love is all about being real with ourselves, you understand? Being authentic in our journey and being comfortable with who we are. I always say, it's better just to be us undeniably, like be you 100% of the way, so the people that truly love who you are can come closer, they can discover you. And the ones that don't like you, they can move out the way, you understand? Because if we're constantly changing ourselves, to please every single person because that's what happens, right? That's how we lose self-love for ourselves because we want everybody to like us, but that's an impossible task. And once we start changing who we are to please all these people, 
We push away the ones that truly love us and we distance ourselves away from ourselves, I and I. That, that sounds weird to distance away from ourselves, but do we not have a relationship with ourselves? Do you not talk to yourself every single day? Do you not beat yourself up? Do you not get down on yourself, right? Every single day we're talking with ourselves. Sometimes we laugh with ourselves. If y'all, if there were hidden cameras around, y'all be like, whoa, this guy really be vibing by himself. You understand? We have a relationship with ourselves, and recognizing that is key to our self-love. It's key to our confidence, you understand? There's energies within us. There's personalities within us, characters within us that want to be expressed. You are a living expression. We are energy. And I don't mean that in a woo-woo, spiritual, like, you are energy kind of way. Just in a real type of way. We are energy. And energy wants to be expressed. Energy wants to flow. So being able to build momentum and consistency with our expression, because I always say and I believe our highest form of nutrition is going to be in our expression, meaning when we are who we are undeniably and we express ourselves, express our gifts, express your humor. Because my friend, you got you have a sense of humor, you creative, you funny. I just said that you have love within yourself. You got brilliance within yourself. You have so many beautiful things about you that nobody's got to experience that you haven't gotten to fully experience because you need to recognize that you are a gift. You are a gift to this world. And it's time that you open yourself up, right? You were sent here. You were sent to this planet. You were sent to this world as a gift. And the greatest gift you can give to the world is for people to feel your authentic energy. You understand? That's where our confidence is. That's where our self-love is. Becoming comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because expressing ourselves sometimes is uncomfortable because we don't want people to judge us. We want to be perfect, right? We want to look perfect. We want to seem perfect. We want everything to be perfect until people experience us. We want to be perfect until we start a YouTube channel. We want to be perfect until we do that podcast. We want to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfection, my friend. You are good. You are perfect within itself or whatever stage or whatever place you are at in life. That's what perfection is. It's allowing yourself to be seen, allowing your flaws to be seen. Do you know that I used to hate my voice? I remember the first time I realized I wanted to start a podcast was about five years ago. And I just started a podcast last year. It took me four years to do it. Everything is a process, right? But I remember when I had the idea to do a podcast because I was listening to all these podcasts and I loved it. And the idea came to me and then I told myself, but how are we going to do a podcast? I hate my voice. No one's going to like my voice. I hated my voice so much that I was struggling with the idea of doing a podcast. Fast forward now, one of the number one things everybody says to me is, I love your voice. Your voice calms me. One of my biggest insecurities became my biggest gift. Your insecurities, your limiting beliefs, on the other side of that, with a shift in perspective, may lay your greatest gift. You understand? That's why we need to dive in and be like, whatever we feel inside of here, and we, when we feel that instinct to express, when we feel that instinct to nourish ourselves and be, let's do that. That's where the confidence is. And stop comparing ourselves. Because that's how we're depleting our self-love. It's about looking at other people and saying, wow, they're more confident than I am. Wow, they're doing the things I want to do. But my friend, we all experience time on our own timeline. You understand? When people ask me my age, I often say, timeless. Because I realize none of us experience life in the same way. We experience the same emotions. But some of us, when we were 10 years old, we were taking care of our brothers and sisters. So by the time we're 20, people are like, oh, you have an old soul. You are seasoned differently. Some of us had so much privilege and got to you know, travel the world. So by the time we're 25, we are a little bit different as well. We all experience time on our own timeline. So to compare ourselves with somebody else, is this a disservice to ourselves and to the world? My friend, your journey is your journey. Stop focusing on everybody else. Take that energy because that's a lot of energy that's going out to comparing and channel it into you. 
start to believe in self by just a little bit of belief, right? Confidence starts with this a little bit of belief, right? That belief is a seed. When you plant a seed into the ground, it needs life. It needs nourishment. You pour water onto it. What would happen if you poured Pepsi onto that seed? It wouldn't grow. So when you have an idea that you want to do in this life, you, when you want to start something, that, 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 that idea is a seed, but it needs life. It needs nourishment. It needs belief. It needs faith. When you add your limiting beliefs to it and your insecurities to it, what happens? That's like pouring the Pepsi on the seed. It's not going to grow. So my friend, this year, we are recognizing that we are living expressions. Truly, you are a gift to this planet. And if you want to have a deeper connection with yourself and more confidence, make a pact with yourself every single day. How can I express myself? How can I nourish myself? What makes me feel good? And let me do that. What's righteous? Mm, let me do that. Let me, let me move towards the path of righteousness. Do what's good for me. Because I understand when I do that, I illuminate my light. And that's the greatest gift we can give to the world is being ourselves and illuminating our light. Then people can feel our essence. They can feel your spirit. You understand? Move on those impulses, those instincts that want to create, that want to express. And then be consistent with it. And understand it's a process. We're not going to be the most confident, confident individuals today in this moment. But every single day we are building towards it. My greatest fear my whole life was public speaking. Every day I'm doing videos. I just did a talk for a company with 100 employees on Zoom. I was scared, but I did it. Building confidence as I go. I want to do TED Talk um, style things in the future. Building the confidence. I feel like that's seven years away. Building the confidence every single day right now to get to that point seven years later. I'm doing a talk soon for another company, 500 employees. It's a process. Have fun with it. Become comfortable with being uncomfortable this year, right? Because that's where the growth is. That's where your beauty is. But also start to ask yourself, what is my love language? What do I need? How much space do I need to nourish myself? Get comfortable with your space. Preserve that space and have fun with yourself. Listen to the music. Wear the clothes you like. Drink the tea you like. Have tea with me. Check me out every single day on the podcast. YouTube, we're going to have more videos. Let's hang. Me and you are friends now. This is a journey of self-love and confidence all year. I have a course coming out soon. I have videos coming out soon about creating content, living your truth, because I believe creating content is a spiritual journey. And this year, I want to put a lot of energy towards just our confidence and self-love and whatever else it may be. You understand? Creativity. My friend, before I leave, because my camera is literally telling me that the battery is going to die. But I want you to recognize again that you are a gift to this planet. And it's time that you open yourself up. Once you begin to unravel yourself, you're going to experience all the self-love and confidence that is already within you. Everything you need, everything you want to be is already within you. It just takes a little bit of belief and then you allow the process to unfold. Purpose isn't in the future. Your purpose is right now being present because our presence has purpose. My friend, if you like this video, please leave a comment, share, um, click like. And yeah, I'm so glad that we could hang out. More tea. And subscribe if this is your new time here. We're about to be friends. We're about to like really get things going. <sighs> Cheers to a more beautiful version of you that is blossoming.